Okay, I'm Mike Webb, I'm the MotoGP Technical Director and I'm in charge of the technical regulations for all classes, uh, 125, 250 and MotoGP. Right, in 2010 we're starting with a new class called Moto2. It's a replacement for the 250cc category and it's a, the idea was to bring a four-stroke replacement which is more relevant to the marketplace rather than two-stroke engines and uh, we've been working on that for two or three years now to, to come up with a suitable 250 replacement. It's going to be 600cc uh, using a Honda 600 engine and a Grand Prix chassis. Okay, we, the agreement we have with Honda who, who successfully uh, tended to be the contractor for, for engine supply, uh, they're going to make a, a Moto2 spec uh, 600 Honda engine which is going to be uh, obviously a, a race spec engine, not, not quite standard, but we specifically didn't want a really highly tuned engine. We want uh, something that's reliable, and the key is that it's well, it's cheap to run, and it's the same for everyone. Uh, that's the real key. So from that point of view, they will be sealed. The teams won't be able to do work on their own engine. Uh, the engines will be returned to us for maintenance, and they, they must remain the way we gave them to the team. They're not allowed to be changed in any way. The key of this class is it's, it's not for technological development. The, the, the idea of this class is to find out who's the best rider. We want to know who's the future MotoGP star. So if we have the teams operating on a, on a much lower budget than now, able to give all their riders equal equipment, we get close racing, plus we get to see who's the best rider, who's the best team. The chassis regulations are the same as they are for, for GP250 now, which means very little restriction on chassis. They can do pretty much anything they want. Uh, the only thing they can't use is titanium material for the chassis. Uh, they can use pretty much anything else. Uh, suspension is, is free. Uh, other than, we've got restrictions like you're not allowed to use electronic controlled suspension, you're not allowed to use carbon wheels. We're just trying to keep the cost down. But from design, they can do anything they want. And we have chassis builders now, including Bimota, Morawaki, Harris, uh, Oh, um, FCC, a number of chassis makers from a number of countries uh, have all built prototypes or are building prototypes now. Uh, Jeremy Ferguson, I'm manager for Dunlops International Motorsport. Uh, I've been with the company mostly in motorsport now for, for a total of 43 years. I personally am based at the European headquarters in Brussels, but the whole of our, our racing and our MotoGP development and production facility comes out of uh, Birmingham, UK. Well, the new class is uh, called Moto2. It's obviously going to be the replacement for the 250 two-stroke class, which has been going ever since the World Championship started in 1949. So it's a big change. Um, clearly, you know, the, the world has been changing, both uh, commercially and uh, technically. And in increasingly now, you can see the way that, that racing is, is going. It's much more Im Im important to have product that is, that is uh, and, and classes that are relatively cheap, uh, much fairer, and much more openly competitive um, for a wider group of people. We have a three-year contract as a single tyre supplier on, uh, to, the, to the World Championship, and we're now in the process of finalising with Dorna and with Erta the, the actual mechanics and the detail. We've sorted out the, the, the tyre dimensions. Basically, um, that the, these, the, the rims are fixed. There's only one, only one rim diameter allowed. Make, make life easier and cheaper for the teams. So the fronts are, are going to be uh, 5.75 front and six inch rear, 17 inch, no changes allowed to that. The dimensions of the tires we've, we've uh, fixed now, 125.80 front, which is the same as we use now currently in, in 250 anyway, and 195.65.17, which is the size we use a lot in, in uh, super stock and in super bike racing around the world where, where we're limited to 17 inch. We've obviously got to sort out the compounds and the constructions and that works sort of ongoing now as the teams uh, start to have uh, test bikes available. Uh, the number of, of tyres will be limited at each race, similar in, in many ways to what they has been working quite well in, Mo in the MotoGP class with Bridgestone. Uh, what we're planning to have is two specs front and two specs rear at each race track and a total of seven front tyres and nine rear slicks. Uh, and that's, that'll be the total quantity, so 16 tyres for, for the race weekend uh, and then uh, three sets of wet tyres, one spec only, no intermediates uh, for, for, for when it rains. We've got a group of, of, of uh, both engineers and fitters 
who effectively do nothing else all year except for except for MotoGP. The 17 races plus all the testing effectively keeps them 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 busy the, the, the whole year round. So all of that sort of organisation we've got in place, it's not, it's nothing nothing new. We just have to make sure that obviously it's strengthened up in order to 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 meet the requirements of of, of the one brand in Moto2.